bring an offering of praise to God by everyone, which is the fruit of lips that confess his name. So bringing an offering in church means that if you bring a million dollars come and you keep your mouth shut and don't praise God, you're still not fulfill the purpose. That means if you bring a good offering in terms of the financial aspect, and from you come to church, your mouth shut. The Bible says that bringing an offering of praise is something that is the fruit from our lips. So you must open your mouth and glorify God. You must open your mouth and say something. It's like Christian can't be quiet. You can't be a Christian and be quiet. Am I talking to the church? You must, you are bound to praise God from your mouth. Some people, they're so far in a God that they let's praise me. Amen. Mm. And for them praise, they're up high, you know. And all them are doing the spirit, so. No, man, the Bible says, you must come with an offering, the sacrifice of your lips. There must be a thank you, Jesus, coming out of your mouth. There must be a hallelujah coming out of your mouth. There must be some tongues where you speak sometime coming out of your mouth. You must open your mouth and give God the fruit of your lips. Am I talking to the church? But you must not ever forget to do good things and to be generous. You must never forget to do good things and be generous. So even though you come with the praise of your mouth, still remember to bring your offering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello? Even though you come with the fruit of your mouth, still remember. Say, the bills need to be paid. Eh? Light needs to be kept on. So still bring your offering. Don't only come and let's say thank you, Jesus. But thank you, Jesus, and take out the offering and come with it because God loves it. A cheerful giver, both with your mouth and with your pocket. Am I talking to the church? All right. So on Sunday, you make reference to the statement. You said it was deeper than what was said when mm. you said blood is thicker oh, than water. Oh, 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 I just remember. To my knowledge, what it means is, um, I didn't, nobody can really come between me and my family member. Mm -hmm. No stranger. So, yeah. This is why we have to know what was said rather than just to take what you hear. The original statement says, the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. And what that means, the relationships of bonds that we make throughout life with people is even greater than that which we have with our family members. We have people in life who are better to us than your own sister. You have people in life that you encounter that will never chat you, but your own sister, mother, father, are carrying news against you. 